Hello there, this is Stacy Wolf with Oahu Unlocked. And today I'm at Coffee Talk in Kaimuki with owner Liz Schwartz. Liz, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here and I'm loving this nitro coffee you poured for me. If you haven't had it, it's amazing. <laughs> um, Liz, tell me a little bit about your shop here, when you first opened and what was the idea behind doing this? 25 years ago, which was a long time ago, but it seems like yesterday, Starbucks was not a thing. And there were a couple little coffee houses, but um, nothing really in this neighborhood. And I love this neighborhood because I live in this neighborhood and have for many, many years. But I knew I wanted to do something restaurant related, but not on the scale of Hard Rock Cafe. Mm -hmm. And I loved coffee, so this was the obvious. I just decided to open a coffee shop. I love that. And 25 years later. Coffee brings people together. It's one yes. of those things that it's, you know, you can always meet over coffee. This neighborhood is unique, but it's very community oriented. Yes. Kamuki is just, a, it's its own little community. That's so. fantastic. So what would you say has changed over those 25 years? And what has kind of just remained the same? A lot has changed in that, you know, now Kaimuki is hip happening new, you know, all kinds of great new restaurants, all kinds of businesses have opened up here that didn't used to be here. Everyone wants to be here now. Um, but it's the same in that it's still small business. No chains, no big corporate anything is here. That's fantastic. So, it really has a personality. Definitely. I, I love when I walk in here, all the colors, all the oh. art, the pop culture. I think it's fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the menu here and what you guys serve. What makes you unique and special? Well, we have great coffee. I um, can attest to that. All of our baristas are great. So the coffee is always consistent and that's really nice. And important, you know what you're gonna and get. And important, right. That everyone is gonna get the same cup of coffee no matter what. And we try to keep up with whatever is, you know, the latest coffee drink. And that's kind of fun and keeps it interesting for us. But also, we bake our own pastries in-house. So I have two pastry chefs, and so every day, everything that we serve is fresh and I think delicious. I think that's really special and unique. So everything comes out of the oven fresh in the morning. The pastry chef gets here really early and stays all day and just keeps going. We do have food, we have sandwiches and salads. I think the unique, you know, it's unique to have fresh, homemade, baked goods. I would agree and there's nothing like a fresh pastry warm out of the oven yeah. with a cup of coffee you have me salivating. <laughs> so this neighborhood is very special because it's packed with small businesses. Why do you think that's so important that we shop local and support those small businesses? It's we all support each other it's a community and if we can avoid going to a big chain restaurant or store or you know whatever we try to support each other. Yeah, and I think we keep the money local. Yeah. We're yeah. feeding local families. Definitely. We're lifting Definitely. local families up. Yeah, that's important. But I mean, that's where Hawaii is so unique because we do support each other. So you've been here for 25 years in this no. shop, and I know you mentioned that you live in Kaimuki as well. Yes. Tell me, what do you love about this neighborhood that's kept you here for so long? Real people. It's not um, overcrowded, it's, it's just a community neighborhood and everyone cares about everyone else. Interesting, we've just had a, a, a new organization called Keep It Kaimuki. Do you know about that? I do, I do. Yeah, that is sort of a binding element right now. Keep It Kaimuki is sort of we meet and we brainstorm and we collectively contribute to community value. Fantastic. And I think that's super important when it comes to a true neighborhood. And yeah. That's, that's what I see here in Kaimuki. Yeah. I always say this is a place you can come and spend the day. I mean, you name it, we've got it. That's so, so wonderful. And yeah. it's walkable. It's all walkable. What this place has become over the years. And I kind of see it as like that gathering place. Um, 
people come and they have meetings, they have appointments, they hang out with their friends, you know, you'll, you'd know more about why they're coming. For a coffee house, it's unusually large. And it used to be a bank, so we still have the vault, that's the vault over there. I mean, it's, it's big, but I do think that we have a lot of regulars because it is sort of your check-in place. You're always going to see someone you know. Your barista's going to know what you drink. You're... I see this is that gathering place. Come for your appointments. Right. Meet your friends. Right. You know. Um... Oh yeah, I mean we have Hawaiian classes on the weekends. We have a kumu that comes in all day Saturday, half the day Sunday, and teaches Hawaiian lessons. And it's so cool like to hear that. We have you know, tutoring people, we have business meetings. We, I mean, everyone has their own thing. You That's know, wonderful. People study, people read books. Like, it's just, what you know, there's enough room for everyone. That's wonderful. To kind of do what they want to do. So so people can arrange to use the space for events? Would they well, just, how do, would they contact? We do have a vault that you can sign up for. We are available for rental at night because we close at 6 o'clock. Yeah, we're open seven days a week and we do have occasional private events, book signings, we do music, we do, you know, people will have a Sweet 16 birthday party or whatever, we do stuff like that. Yeah, it's just, there's a lot how going can, on. How can people find different events that are going on? What's the best way to connect? Oh, our social media, like whenever there is, we don't have them all the time, but whenever there is, we always okay. sort of announce it. We so, do also like sometimes on the weekend we'll have sample sales, people sell jewelry or surf lines or you know just different, just there's always something different but yeah it's always going to be on our Instagram to let people know like what what we have going on. Just thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to sit down with me today. I'm so excited we learned so much about this business. <laughs> This Maybe very too much. special place, never too much. I wish we had more time. Um, you can find Coffee Talk on Instagram and Oahu Unlocked. And again, my name is Stacy Wolf with Oahu Unlocked. This has been another fantastic interview. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.